Hey, welcome back to Blar. We have Clue Mysteries, detective game. Pretty compelling cases to solve. I've never heard of this game before, so I saw it. But you know what? I'm not a huge fan of Clue, but three bucks. I was just interested in how this looks or how it's going to look. Because the back has some pretty cool, colorful art. These like the pop up buildings. You know, we got the coder. Again, this was taped, so I don't know if it's complete or not. We're just going to unbox it, take a look at it, find out. If you guys have played it, let me know if it's good or bad, or better than Clue, or worse than Clue. So, I'm not sure. Let's see what year this came out. Let's see if we'll find the year here. 2005, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like 2005 is when this came out. And I've never heard of it, I've seen it. Tape up here, too. So. Hmm. Oh, that's a weird fold out thing. Slides the main game here. Oh, it's got its own sleeve. It's kind of nice. Here. Again, I don't know if it's complete or not. So we have our detective books. I guess those are decoders. Suspects, Plum, Scarlet, Rusty Naylor, Miss Peacock, Colonel Mustard, Mrs. White, Prince Arthur, Lady Lavender, uh, Lord Grey, Reverend Green, uh, Miss Peach. So that seems like some more people that are not in the original. So these are really nice quality, like sturdy cardboard. So you just get a wheel, like a decoder. Uh, I only see four. Okay, let's see the rest over here. That's good. It's got a token. Got a magic mirror, maybe. More tokens. The rest of the coders. Alright, so there's a slot there. A big key. Now, one thing I'm worried about, like if the, if the secret, like red thing, it was like an '80s Transformer kind of gimmick is not in. Ooh, it's a pretty, pretty hefty rule book here. <laughs> oh, so there are diff different cases. So we got a wheel setting, which gonna put it on uh, the mystery on Holy Heist, the borrowed book. So there's 50 mysteries in here to go through, so that's cool. So I'll give you some playability. Uh, it's a nice book. Right here. And here's your stand-ups. They're nice. So it feels like I haven't played too much, so maybe it's not a good game. I don't know. So these are all stand-ups. I don't know if it has the stands in here or not. These are all pretty cool. Police. Uh, Mustard Lodge, White Cottage, so these are all like their homes, that's cool. Plum's got a castle, We've got a residence, so they all seem to be uh, well to do. Alright, that's pretty cool. And then the board, so yeah, so I was afraid of that. I think I'm missing maybe the key piece of the game. Which is that red like code finder. The board. So it's like a yard. And you have the different residents all around here. Tudor Mansion, 
mustard lodge, white cottage. So it's a pretty good sized board. So nice and colorful, looks good. Good looking board. It's like a four fold. Suspects, showing your background, age, and a little bit about each one. Oh, look at that. I'm very happy to see the coder is intact. And this wasn't played. Um, yeah, you have your clue mysteries here, solutions, looks like it's all intact. Player markers, dice, sealed card. Tells you what to do. Go directly to Plum's house. And uh, whatever this is, kind of silver sticker that probably comes into play. Stands for the houses. All right, that is good to see all these things. Up there. So it's got a good production value as far as like quality components, all that stuff. This one's on top or not. Um, there. I scattered about a little bit. Options. Probably go underneath, but that's all right. I'll still in here for now. Yeah, it looks like it's not been really played too much at all. So if you have played it, let me know if it's good, bad. Yeah, they're a little too tall on some of this stuff. Clue Mysteries, the coding detective game. 50 cases. Um, how many players look for this? It's two to six players. So I'm not a fan of games that are three or more players. It's kind of a pain. I think all games need to have a two-player option. This makes it, I think, overall easier and better to deal with. But that is Clue Mysteries. Again, I got it for three bucks. I think I said two bucks. Two ninety-nine. Good pickup, I think. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. Mm -hmm.